bruises and bears, scars and shots. Can't wrap my head around what y'all call hot. If you don't talk rock, then yo, what's not? I force steel bars with all I got, but I don't feel locked. These four balls. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Scars and Whiskey for our next review. Today's review is the Caldwell Blind Man's Bluff Robusto. It's a 5x50. Uh, it's made in Honduras. It has a Ecuadorian wrapper, a Honduran binder, and a Dominican Honduran filler. Now, this cigar is roughly uh, $7.5 a stick. Now, I picked this stick up at uh, Fine Ash Cigars in Avondale, Arizona. So, if you're in the area and you know about the shop, they definitely carry those there. And we'll be right back. On the construction of the cigar, you can see it's got minimal veins. There are a few predominant veins throughout. The seams are very tight. It is a soft uh, cigar, so it indicates not such a, a full-packed fill. Uh, on the uh, foot, we're getting mm, aromas of cocoa and pepper. Uh, on the dry draw, we are going to get... On the dry draw, we're getting a little bit of cocoa, a little bit of uh, pepper, more like a white pepper, so it's not so predominant, and just a little bit of cinnamon. Very interesting. So we'll be right back for our first third. Welcome back, everybody, for the first third of our review today of the Blind Man's Bluff Robusto. In the first third, we're getting a soft pepper, almost like a white pepper, so very mild. Uh, we're getting little hints of the dry cocoa and some cedar is followed on the retro hell. As you can see, the cigar is pretty well built. Now, I do have one issue, and that is a mouse hole that starts right in the back, which is kind of irritating, but you know, you gotta deal with it. But so far, the cigar is pretty good. It is uh, labeled as a medium to a full, but very mild at this point. Stay right, stay tuned. We'll be right back with a second third. Welcome back, everybody, for the second third of our review of the Blind Man's Bluff. And on the second third, we're getting a little more a subtleness on the pepper going to the back of the palate. On the front of the palate, we're getting a sweet, almost like herbal uh, flavor. And uh, it's a very interesting cigar. I had some issues with the burn. I had a mouse hole that kind of messed up the cigar a little bit, but not too bad. I had to retouch up. But so far, it's a fairly good cigar. I've never had the Caldwell, uh, and it is produced in the Camacho uh, Cigar Factory. So just a little information for you. And again, uh, if you haven't tried it, do suggest you take a take one and try it out. It is a fairly good cigar. We're back for our final third. In the final third of our review today, the cigar sweetness has left a little bit. Uh, it's fading into the background. The white pepper is still predominant. A little bit more cedar and burnt char flavor on the uh, retro hill. The construction's holding up pretty well. Just had a lot of burn issues with it. I had a mouse hole towards the beginning and it kind of affected the way the cigar burns. Uh, this is quite ashy, so you got to keep knocking it off or you'll have it in your lap. But if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Always leave your comments. Thanks again for tuning in to Scars and Whiskey. Have a great day. Have a great smoke. We'll see you next time.